Hi and welcome to this Yellowfin video. Uh, in this session we're going to be looking at uh, two types of subquery. We'll explore minus and intersect. Now these are set up in exactly the same way, but depending on which type you pick, you'll have different results. So we're going to start with a minus subquery and we'll create a report using the drag and drop builder to begin. So when you're creating one of these, basically what you're after is uh, a list minus results from another list. So a really common example would be uh, creating a list of your customers from the current year and removing any customers that you had in previous years, which uh, in the end gives you a list of just brand new customers from this year. So to do that, I'm going to bring in my athlete records. So they're my customers. Alright, and you can see I've got 3,228. So let me just filter those down to uh, the current year's worth of customers. To do that, I'm just going to add in my invoice date and restrict the results to purchases from this year. So we'll just use our easy to use predefined periods and go with this calendar year to date. Alright. So now you can see we've got 50 customers. So to create a minus, we just add our subquery and use the minus option. Now we're going to restrict our customer list by the athlete ID field. And we're going to exclude using athlete ID in our secondary list. So basically uh, any customers found in our previous year's list will be removed from the current year. And finally, we're just going to filter that second list by invoice date, and I'm going to call it previous. Now, you could have it as the previous five years if you wanted to, it doesn't have to be one year, um, but just for this example's sake, we'll do that. So, I need to go into settings and apply my filter. So, we'll go into our previous year query, set it to between. and find the last calendar year. And we'll just save our query. And you can see now I've only got seven rows. So basically I had seven new customers that didn't come from previous years worth of uh, purchases. Now if I want to change this to be an intersect, uh, basically what will happen is I'll have a list of this year's customers a list of last year's customers and my results will be the customers that were in both so my repeats so what I'm going to do is just remove my minus so we'll just delete that and instead I'm going to add an intersect now it's exactly the same process so we're going to filter the master query by our customer ID so athlete ID and it's going to match our athlete ID in the previous year's results. We're going to filter that and again I'm going to call it previous year. So we save. Now I'm just going to set my filter to be between uh, again choose the last calendar year. So you can see it's exactly the same process. We save our changes and now we've got 43 rows. Okay, so these are our customers that repeated. So have a look at some of our other videos if you want to see different types of subqueries, including advanced options uh, and other reporting options.